guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing two unboxings. Of course I wanted to share June's Birch Box and June's Ipsy Glam Bag. And I will just get right into it and start off with the Birch Box. Super excited about doing these unboxings. I've been so busy lately and haven't been able to get right into them. This month's Birch Box, the theme is Away We Go. It's pretty much saying that, you know, it's summertime, a lot of people are going to be traveling and going on vacations and doing all that fun stuff. I'm pretty sure this month they're going to send things that are great for the summer and are travel friendly. This is what the box looks like inside and I'm just going to start off with this LA QA and Company Lip Lube. Lip Lube, that sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? <laughs> this is a sheer lip lube pencil and the full size is $18. A high gloss semi sheer lip color that's perfect for the summer and it smells minty fresh. I am absolutely obsessed with this color. I love that it is purple. Definitely smell the mint in it. I feel like this is definitely one of the summer colors and I'm just really really excited that I can add this in to my collection. by the brand Dr. Hauschka and this is a lemongrass vitalizing body wash and the full size is $29.95. It's a creamy foam that gently cleanses and hydrates with a refreshing ginger and citrus scent. So I'm really excited about trying this out. This would definitely be super refreshing especially during the summer. I don't even know how to say this. Naya Kio. Nia Kio. That's the brand that it is. And this is a Kenyan coffee face polish, body scrub, and hydrating face oil. And the full size is $34 to $55. Based on traditional African recipes, these formulas smooth, hydrate, and revitalize skin. We have the sample packs of all three of the products. I've never tried any Kenyan coffee scrubs or, you know, any Kenyan skin care. Bottom of the box, they just have this where to next. Take this quiz to win a travel certificate from JetBlue. Interesting. I'll probably take a look at this later. I'm going to get into this thing right here. This is by the brand Perlier and it is a body cream and it is Shea Almond and the full size is $28.45. From the Italian skincare brand, this nourishing cream rehydrates skin for silky finish. Ooh, I can't even explain the scent of this. It does have like an almond type scent, but... It smells really, really fresh. It is super hydrating, which is really good to have even in the summertime. It's Cynthia Rally Beauty, and this is the Birchbox exclusive. And this is a silver eyeliner, and the full size is $16. And it says it is a luxe creamy liner from the New York City-based designer for smudge-proof all-day wear. It is super creamy when you apply it on, and it is really, really pigmented. I love the top of this eyeliner. I could totally see myself using this on the inner corners of my eyes as well as, you know, lining my lower waterline or my lower lash line. I'm really happy that they actually included this as a Birchbox exclusive. Usually the extras in Birchboxes aren't really, like, they're nice to have, but they're not like, oh wow, this is awesome, you know what I mean? So I'm really, really impressed with this. So that is everything for June's Birchbox, and overall I'm pretty excited about every product. I'm not really a big fan of sample packets, but what can you do, I guess? I can definitely, you know, get past that, but I'm still really interested in all the products, and I like that they did incorporate a couple makeup products as well. I got the lipstick, and then I got the eyeliner, so super, super happy about those two. Now I'm just going to get right into my Ipsy. I'm really excited about this. So the first thing that I see, and this is the... Uh, Laneige BB Cushion. It comes with three different BB creams. It has the light, medium, and dark BB cream. I'm guessing it's just introducing the Laneige brand. I have heard a little bit about it. I know it's going to be sold in Target. I think that's pretty cool that they did include all three of them, especially during the summertime when your skin tends to tan. So you could be a light one day and then like next week you could be a medium because you're out tanning. You know what I mean? All the skin is just one step away with the five in one cushion form technology. It brightens, protects, cools and moisturizes, prevents shine, and perfects long lasting coverage. This month's Ipsy is called Pretty in Paradise. The bag is so pretty. I absolutely love this bag. It's super summery. I like the fact that it does have the floral with the dark background in it and then the red zipper detail. First thing that I do pull out is by the brand Nika K and this is a shimmer eyeliner. I love that it's very very bright. I could see myself wearing this. I think I've had a shade of this at one point in time but it dried out. The shade out. that it's in is green. 
With just one swipe, it's super pigmented. The applicator does have like a felt tip to it, so it's very easy to control. And um, yeah, we'll definitely be doing some looks with it. I also got this MD Solar Sciences brand, and this is a 30 mineral tinted cream, and it is SPF 30. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super liquidy. I don't know if it's like not settled right. I'm kind of skeptical about this. I don't know if I want to put this like oily substance on my face. It says it is suited for all skin types, including acne and rosacea. It's non comedogenic won't clog pores, and it's a matte finish. You can definitely feel where it kind of has that like silicone consistency to it. So I can see where it might turn matte, but it went on really oily, so I'm not, I don't know how I feel about that. I also have this Mark Anthony brand, and this is a beach spray. And it just creates sexy, tussled beach waves all year long. I love that beach hair look. I'll definitely be adding this to my beach spray collection. Last thing that I'm going to pull out is this NYX Butter Gloss. I do have a NYX Butter Gloss and I absolutely love it. So I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to try out another one. And my child is being so loud. So if you hear her, she's running around with her dad, you know, acting crazy. This is in the shade Apple Strudel. It's definitely a shade that I would absolutely wear. It is super, super pretty. I'm really excited about it, actually. And this is like the first NYX product that I've gotten in my bag, so that's pretty cool. That is everything for my Ipsy Glam Bag, and I received five products in this month's bag. And if I had to choose between my Birchbox or my Ipsy. I'm equally excited about both because I do love that I got a lip product and an eye product in my Birchbox and then I also got a NYX lip product and an eye product in my Ipsy and then the other things I'm satisfied with but I'm not like overly joyed about or whatnot. No subscription really screamed out at me over another so yeah gonna have to just call it a tie this month. If you guys have any questions about the products that I've, you know, mentioned in this video, then just comment down below and let me know what's up. If you can please like this video if you love watching unboxings and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I will also list my Twitter, my Facebook page, and my Instagram around this area so you guys will definitely have to go check that out. I love keeping in touch that way as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!